Hey, I've got a fun project to share with y'all today. I'm Summer from Hammond's Nest, and in today's video, I'm working with these wooden spoons. I picked up a three pack from Dollar General for $2 each, and then this bamboo one here that you see me painting now is from Dollar Tree, and it was $1.25. So you can get the wooden spoons in a variety of places, but I have a couple more of the bamboo ones I'll show you at the very end, because we're gonna have fun making cute little snowmen. So I chose the color Plaster by Waverly to give these a little bit of a rustic coat, and I'm using a glass jar, a little tip there to let those dry. After they're dried, I'm gonna move on to embellishment. So I'm choosing to show you on the bamboo spoon because I like it because it's bigger. So I feel like I can get away with more detailed embellishments. So for this one, I'm gonna give it a cute little toboggan. I started out with a piece of fabric that was six by six inches, little six inch square. And I just figured that would give me enough excess to tie and not have to struggle with anything. But once I got it cinched to the top there with some twine, once I glued my piece on like a little hat, I gave it a little pom-pom topper with some chunky yarn. So I'm just going to wrap that around, get it glued in place, and then we'll move on to painting the cute face. Now, for the face, uh, you're going to see a paint plate, but I'm going to feature these colors. Folk art, licorice, folk art, cinnamon, and then a little bit more of the base color that we use, plaster. And I'm just going to give it a simple little face, but I am going to lay down a base of black eye. And I'll go back and put a little white twinkle in it here in a minute once it dries. But the trickiest part about drawing faces is just getting them even. So I kind of work on that, making those circles, those little ovals even. Then I'm using the end of a paintbrush to do the little dots for the smile. And instead on these of just painting on the nose, I have this little corrugated cardboard uh, scrapbook paper. And I just cut a little triangle out and I'm painting it in the color cinnamon. Going to glue that right in place. Now, once your black has had some time to dry, that is when you can go add in a cute little twinkle, and that just makes the face really come to life there. So sweet. But we're going to keep going. I got this little snowflake stamp. There's so much that you could do for these, so I'm just showing you some fun ideas. Maybe some of this you already have on hand, and uh, maybe it'll just spark, like I said, another idea for you. But I thought this little snowflake tag would be a sweet embellishment on the hat there. Now I'm taking some more of that chunky yarn I used at the top of the hat and I'm doing the little scarf out of it. I thought this was fun, but I want to give it some more details as well. So I'm doing a rubber stamped tag that says, let it snow. And as a cool little touch, because I really wanted it to tie in with a hat, I laid down a base layer of the same uh, navy blue ticking and I'm using that as a base for my tag. And I thought that was sweet. So it was very subtle, but it did tie into the hat. Lastly, a little button. Well, not lastly. One little extra touch you could do is take this ink pad and just run it along the edges, giving it some more detail and dimension. So we're finished with that one. So let me show you one other cute detail you could add. So I actually already did this one here. Uh, on a live, but I did add the little burr with rubber stamps. If you can see right above the scarf there, that was a super cute touch. But I thought that this little guy needed something. Now, I painted the face a little high, so it's hard to do a hat. So why not do some little earmuffs, right? So I took some wire, and you could do this a number of ways. I think it'd be easier to just make the 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 earmuffs you know, by themselves off to the side and then glue them on. But I was just trying some different techniques. So what I did was I twisted some wire to create a cute little decorative uh, part of the earmuff. And then I took the same chunky yarn I used on the other one and did little poofs and just glued them on the edges. So pretty cute, right? Yeah, I love this one. So before I show you the third bamboo spoon, let's hop back to the little ones. And since these are had some time to dry, I'm just going to do these very, very simple, just to show you that you don't have to do all the little details for them to be cute. And so I'm using Q-tips to do the eyes and the smile, and I'm just painting on the nose, all in the same colors. I just wanted to show you that they do look darling, just simple like this. And as a little touch, you could just take some ribbed fabric or felt or ribbon trim and just tie it around underneath. And so this is just the easy, easy peasy version of this concept and idea, which is such a cute one. And I have seen some really darling versions. Of course, for these, you could add little hats and things like that. You could certainly get more detailed, but I just wanted to show you how easy this was. This is a great family activity too. And uh, the more simple you keep it, obviously, you know, uh, you don't have to have as many supplies. So I wanted to show you that version too. So 
Cute, cute, cute. We'll see those again at the end of the video. And now I'm going to hop back and show you this last bamboo spoon. He is so Christmassy. So I just used some red and green fabric and did little touches. I did the three buttons. I did a joy tag at the top. Instead of the little poofy thing at the top of the um, hat, I just cinched it off with the same fabric from the scarf and left the extra material at the top. I think it's so cute. So look at our little family of snowmen. Are they not adorable? I hope that you love all these ideas and that it sparks some creativity with you and that this is an activity you think that you could get together with friends and family and create during the holiday season. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.